Welcome to Java Space. So we have been talking about Spring, sorry, monitoring application. But in the previous video, we were looking at observability and monitoring outside Spring. But now we want to monitor our Spring application, which means we are bringing monitoring and observability into our Spring Boot application. So for us to achieve that, there is a module in Spring, or you can say there is a project in Spring that is built for you. That project is called Spring Boot Actuator. So with Spring Boot Actuator, you want to monitor your Spring application in production and get all this useful information about your application. And the good thing is you don't do anything. You don't implement any class, you know. You don't do anything to get all this useful information. Once you have included Spring Boot Actuator Starter into your Spring Boot application, you get all this useful information. But the next question would be, how does Spring collect this metrics? Or how does Spring Boot Actuator does all this magic for us? So Spring from Spring Boot 2.0, they use micrometer library. And this micrometer collects this multi-dimensional metrics for you. We'll talk about this later. And it does this through instrumenting your JVM based application. So there is what we call instrumentation. You can Google that and search about it. So it does this instrumentation without fender logging. Because we, uh, micrometer, we mentioned that, uh, or we didn't mention, micrometer collects this matrix in a vendor neutral way. It uses a facade pattern. So this facade pattern is one of the design patterns, like strategy pattern, or, uh, you know, adapter, uh, observer, and many more. So what it does, this facade, it provides a simplified interface to a library or complex code. You don't need to know the nitty gritties behind. You just communicate with that interface. Behind the scene, you don't know what, what's happening. So because of that, micrometer collects the metrics in a vendor neutral way, which means in a common way. Common, it's like when we uh, establish a protocol. We will talk about this uh, as we go on in details. So once these metrics have been collected in a common way, now one can then expose them into vendor-specific format for Prometheus, for New Relic, for AppDynamic, for Splunk, you know, or many other time series uh, databases or external monitoring applications. So when MIT Micrometer or you can say Spring Boot Actuator collects this metrics, it does so with no overhead at all, which means you have all this information that is useful for, for your application. But you don't affect your application performance. And that is one of the critical aspect of this uh, monitoring that we are talking about. So Spring Boot Actuator will open two protocols or is implemented in two protocols for you to get the metrics through HTTP or through JMX. So JMX stands for Java Management Extensions. And this JMX provide a standard mechanism to monitor and manage applications. By default, Spring will expose management endpoints as JMX. But with H uh, HTTP, we will see as we go on that um, they are, uh, you will need to do some extra work to to enable specific, uh, you know, to enable and expose specific endpoints for your Spring application.